Mashiach, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. I don't read it again. Okay. Uh, I started 29. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Man, what no, so what it takes. Not, not only shall you be saved, but your, but your house shall be saved, your wife and your children as well. Oh, you know? Good news. Yeah, right. The news, that's the gospel. Hey, that's the reason why we come out here labor the way that we do. We ain't just trying to save ourselves. We want our house to yeah, be really. saved as well. Right. Uh, who got it? I got something to follow that. This is uh, 1 Timothy 2, and I started at 13. For Adam was first formed, then he, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Now, this is the point. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. You know what I'm saying? That's how the women going to come into the kingdom of heaven. The child bread through having our seed. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be, it's going to be, Harley's going to make it. You know some of these, these women out here, man. I mean, because, hey, that's what he said. That ain't what I said. The Lord said in the scriptures. Look, <laughs> he said, hey, like, like chicks like Cardi B gonna make me for some of these niggas out there. Yeah, right. And that's know? bad. That's it. Ain't, ain't it, hey, hey that's, that's his will, man. It is. He, who can't clean? You <laughs> think he can do? <laughs> uh, this, uh, this is for one of the, the helps. This says, this uh Matthew 10 and 42. And whosoever shall give a give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water in the name of the of the, a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall no wise uh, lose his reward. A man simply, we hot out here, a man simply come up and say, look, y'all y'all like y'all need some water. And go on with his day. The Lord can be like, he go, hey, he, 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 he can go in the kingdom of heaven. You know what I mean? Simple. I got a precept for you too. Yes. Yeah, this, this is John 4 and 13. Yahweh shall answer and said unto her, Whosoever drink of, the, of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drink of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So he, he was talking about a situation where in John 4 where uh, the Samaritan woman was uh, about to try to get water. So he was like, hey, bitch, look. <laughs> he said, like, listen here, we got, if you drink of this water, you're going to thirst again, regular water, natural water. But this is the living word. So, so the most high, the Yahweh Shah was like, look, you keep drinking of this, this, this water, this is converted like to water because when we, you ingest this, and it's the, the word is like, the spirit is like water. You know what I mean? Okay. So give me John 738. 738. Yeah, oh, that's what I look for. You got it? <laughs> that's the spirit. Okay. So we don't want you to. We, we I got it. go ahead, bro. Bring it this up. This is John seven and thirty eight. He that believeth on me, as the Scripture hath said. So that's what you got to do. Believe on him, as the Scripture hath said. Right. Go ahead. He that believeth on me, as the Scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Right. So out of his belly. So you, when we when we do this, man, this this is this is showing our faith. When we out here standing on the street, we know you know you're Israelite, but it's still further more than just knowing you're Israelite in this thing. It's that's why he said uh, you gotta just. It said you gotta understand this, what uh, what the scripture has said. Believing in him, so when you believe on him, you believe the miracles that was happening. You believe what was said, and that's really believing on his on him. So to continue to believe on him and not falter, in, because a lot of them go down to uh, it goes down to. Basically, name, because you got to keep that name in your heart, that vibration. He's not gonna come and and, and just give you uh, salvation, because the name is more is like very important to keep. So when your prayers come, you come and you you, you suck with the Most High. You keep calling on His name, because if I call your name Mark, I can never call you number. If I can't call you uh, uh, Michael, if your name is Mark, it's precious. It's precious name, bro. Right, so continue with this. Continue to understand. That's why we, you know, brothers keep coming out. You start understanding this thing. Do you do you watch YouTube videos all the time? That's how I got to do you. Time, time. Well, Great Millstone, we we, you know, we do a, the Spirit of the Lord got on on the apostles to do great work and and and, and, and come and, and it, it flows down to us brothers around yeah. here, bro. 
You know? Go ahead, bro. Uh, it says in, uh, I want to say that Psalms 116, it says, I have believed, therefore I have, I have spoken. You know, if, if you've been watching, you know, and yeah, you've yeah, been you watching Great yeah. Millstone for a while, and you should, hey, you should know more than more than three scriptures. Right. That's all you really need to get out here and push the word, you know? Right. Right. So, hey, you should be eager to get out here and push the word and do the Lord's work. Hey, the scriptures say, covet to prophesy. You know, you should be eager to push the word out there and to, to, to uh, you know, uh, basically teach the house of Israel who they are. I'm pretty sure you know more than more than one scripture right. and, and how to apply it, especially if you've been watching Great Millstone. So now it's time to get serious about it and doing this work, not just popping up every now and then, man. You know, like a commercial on TV. <laughs> you got something to get. reason I'm popping up is because, you know, I work I was homeless. Let me let speak. I was homeless and I had nowhere to go. And I need money to take care of my child and, and, and put a roof over my head. I know this that's, is that's, 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 under, that's, that's understandable. understandable. But, but this is this is more important, you know? That. But I understand that. But I'm still. You still have to have clothes, shelter, food, and that too, right? I, I'm not telling you not to work. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say if a man doesn't work, he don't eat. What? Exactly. But you still gotta come out here and do this work, man. Right. Right. That's, that's brothers. That's okay, brothers. Okay, that's that's bro listen, 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 listen. Okay, okay. That's what. That's what I'm saying. When you're able to come out here, come that's out here, I'm, man. That's why I'm here. You know. That's why I'm here. Come out here. Okay, because the Lord ain't playing, man. I understand. Hey, the Lord getting serious. Hey, the, the, the scripture Romans 13 and 11 keeps coming out, man. Because it's time for for people to wake up and stop bullshitting, man. Yeah, once again, what the what is dudes they clock at? The dudes it, it moved up 30 they, seconds. And I'm not even worried about the dudes they clock. It's just these damn carnal, these, na these, these, these natural, these damn devils, they telling you something is close. Right, right, they are. And you know it's something close. Right, you ain't right. coming out here for no reason. Right. You know, because cause, hey, if you don't do the work, you know what I'm saying? You might not be saved, and then your children might not be saved either. Right. So what was the what was the point of you uh, do, going to going to uh, taking time off so you can work and and and, and uh, to feed your kids anyway? Right, right, right. What what what's going to help benefit your kids? Is 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 uh, which I'm not telling you not to take care of your kids. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't be don't be simple. I ain't, I ain't taking a you know what I'm saying? You're going to work, right. take care of your family, and do what you got to do. But this right here will will benefit and help your kids more than more than some uh, paper dollars, man. Right, right. But right. you you know you could be communicable. You could come through. You can stand, man. You got things you can do. You can do just, videos, right. man, on your own. We ain't saying that you got to right. come out here and just nothing. be with us. You you come out here and we'll learn, see. but you can do okay, videos on your own. Videos. I feel I don't have enough knowledge to break down scriptures. That's why. I'm How long you been listening to the you know Great Mill song? You got you know three scriptures. You can do a video. You know three scriptures. You can do a video. Okay. 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 I take that into consideration. Say, you know That's what I'm trying to get familiar. We ain't in a time of taking co into, consider baby, to, into baby consideration. Step, oh. We gotta we we in a time to you you gotta do this or or either you don't. You know what I'm saying? Your baby steps was was over a long time ago. Because how long you been listening to Great Millstone? For a minute. Okay. You know, so you know more, you know three scriptures or more. That's a video right there. This, this is Revelations 12 and 12. You know, we ain't, we ain't about to be holding hands and just it's just treating you like a child and, 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 uh, and, and walking you, you know? You know what I'm saying? Right. We'll, we'll teach you how to walk, which is which is giving you the word of your how about shimmy was shy. But you are gonna have to get serious, man. Time. This ain't no time to be bullshit. It's a time to get serious, well, I man. I consider myself not BSing, man. I'm, that's why I'm here, brother. I'm gonna ask questions. I'm gonna analyze. I'm gonna make the decision. At the end of the day, it's my decision to to, to go with the flow or not. That's why I'm here. You know what I'm, saying? No, I'm not no, going to no. just jump in. It's our power. It's our, it's our, it's our, it's our Lord's decision right there. You know what I'm it's not because he he he, 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 he <laughs> makes the decision. Of, if anybody, if anybody stays and goes and don't stay, it's his decision. But it's still in the, it's still it's the, it's, a, it's the effort that you will put in. Right? You step, you take a step, a couple of steps. This is Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? <laughs> Man's are going to the Lord. So basically what we're saying, it's because of your how about she mouth shot. It's the way of your goings, the things that you do, the steps you take every day. How could you know your own way? It's, these are our steps through the Lord. 
Right. We ain't saying we better than you, but we know right now we we trump we we fear. This is fear out here, man. Hey, th hey the scripture says uh, uh, through uh, knowing the terror yeah. of the Lord, we persuade men. Yeah. And that's the reason why. And that's the reason why I'm coming at you like that. You know what I'm saying? Because we know what's about to happen to this place, right. man. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So that's why it, it tells you to uh, study to show thyself approved. Because when you st when you study, you start understanding what what the terror of the Lord is. What he's gonna do to this place? How you gonna vaporize this place, man? How you gonna send uh did uh, not the the the, the, the he's gonna have? It's gonna be time. But it's gonna be uh I, we spoke about it all week. Uh, you gonna have your worst dream come true, <laughs> you know? Out here, I mean, meaning you gonna have uh uh think about a fucking ghost chasing. It's gonna get. It's a spiritual thing, man. It ain't gonna just be some just bullets being flying. It's gonna be spiritual. We gonna have monsters coming out of that goddamn Detroit River. See, little river monsters and shit. You know, you gonna have. Uh, they got Terminator and uh, Terminator weapons, dark ones. They got. They gonna have shit just running down the street, just killing anything that moves. Three to sixty-five. So, when you do, when, when, that's what we telling you, bro. You you gotta you gotta you got. You gotta make sure your call, make your, sure your calling election sure. Come on, please say. Go ahead, this is John six and sixty three. It is the spirit that quickeneth; the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Yahweh Shai knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him my, of my father. So it's not your choice. It's the most High heavenly father's choice. Now the scripture says that, uh, can you read uh, again? This is uh, read read uh, 60, 60, uh, uh, yeah. John 6 and 64. But there are some of you that believe not. Hey, for now, uh, the, the scripture I quoted earlier in Psalms, it says, I believe, therefore have I spoken. So do you believe? You know, because if you've been listening for a while and you and you believe what Great Millstone is saying, why not go out there and teach the same thing? <laughs> you know, so it, it all comes down to if you truly believe or not. Because if you truly believe, once you hear those words spoken, you're going to be inspired. Come on. To come out here and teach. You, you got to understand, like, these scriptures, man, when we read these scriptures, we get chills, man. You know, the spirit of the Lord is heavy. This is Jeremiah 23 and 29. Is not my word like as a fire, saith Yahweh, and like a hammer that breaketh the rocks in pieces? You know what I'm saying? So his, his word is no joke, man. His word puts a new spirit in you, that new fire, all right? He's going, when, when he's out here, when he's telling you these words, man, it's supposed to rejuvenate something in you to get you to uh, put in the work of the Heavenly Father, man. Because it's it's for, you should worry about yourself, your family, the brethren, and your how about and how size will, man. I don't want to be here when them uh, missiles come. I don't want to be here when Jacob's troubling this famine in these streets and these people not eating and they running into these Walmarts and they can't get no food. I'm, you know what I'm saying? We want to we wanna, uh, be uh, shown mercy by the Heavenly Father, man. But right. these, these heathens and these two-thirds not going to get that, man. So Appreciate you shouldn't want to be around for this uh, these wicked judgments that's coming. Yeah, that's because, it. hey. Righteous then, judgments. So some people, they put their family, they put too much into their family that's more it. than they put Ooh, into the I Lord, man. Yeah, you know, so, here. hey, you might, hey, you might even lose your kids, kids man. And that's just, that's, just, that's just putting the facts out there. Just because you, you might get saved and your kids might not. Your kids might get saved and you might not. But but the thing is, you coming out here to make your calling in the election short. You got to worry about yourself first, man. All right. You know, because you might believe and then your your wife might not might not allow your kids to believe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Unbelievable. So, hey, hey, bro, at, at the end of the day, you got to work out your own salvation to make your calling the election short. And through you doing that, maybe the Lord will have mercy on your children, man. All right, hey, yourself. Yeah. You know? Go ahead, bro. Very quick. This is Luke. This is something that hey, And then, hold on, hold on, Salakia. You said that you were homeless. The Messiah said that that, that he didn't have a, 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 a place. Yeah, kind. So, somebody, somebody grab that. This is uh, Luke. Luke uh, 14 and 18, and they all with one can sit, wait, I'll start from 16. And then said he unto, uh, unto him, a certain a certain man made a great supper and, and bid many, and sent his servant at, at, at a supper time to say uh, to them that, that were, were bid, come, for, for all things are, are now ready. 
and they all with one consent began to make an excuse. The first said unto him, I have I have bought a piece of, 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 of ground. I must need to go and see it. I pray thee, uh, ha have me excused. Now, this is talking about men making excuses, yeah. you know? If, if you have the knowledge, if you know what to teach, if you know that this is the truth and you can acknowledge that it is, and you decide that you don't want to go out and teach, then that's just basically you making a, an excuse. Okay, I got a Like question. for an example, right? This is on uh, Luke 9 and 58. This is dealing with the Messiah, right? Because he was uh, he was always going out and teaching. His disciples was going out and teaching, right? And this is uh, 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 Luke 9 and 58. It says, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the son of man hath not where to lay his head. Okay. You know, but he was still going out and doing the work. You know? Okay, now I got a question in the state. Now, you saying going out and teach, but earlier, I think one of your brothers stated that you had to learn how to break down the scriptures to become a teacher. So how can I go out and teach if I don't know how to break down the scriptures? Are you, are you an Israelite? Yes, I am. How do you know that you're an Israelite? Well, through the knowledge that I just attained from, you know what I'm saying, guys like Israelite. give me Give me one scripture to prove that you're an Israelite. If I was to tell you you wasn't an Israelite, if I was an unbeliever and I told you you wasn't an Israelite, what, what's one of the scriptures that you would give me to prove that you're an Israelite? Uh, when they, uh, I, I don't know it by, by heart, man, but I can tell you that the scripture uh, stated went about uh, us being the darker skin in uh, Israel. Oh, are you talking about uh, Psalms? Yes. I mean, that's Psalms, so, uh, uh, Songs of Solomon? I believe one that's and five. It. Yeah, Yes, sir. Oh, uh, the Songs of Solomon, one and five. That's, that's one. You got Jeremiah 14 and two. Right. That's, a, that's another one. So you got enough, right?